someone who finds difficulty in retaining English vocabulary, then this video is for you. Let's see some quick 5 vocabulary techniques which help in retaining the words and avoiding cramming vocabulary. The first technique is the group words. There are a group of words which mean the same. They are called synonyms. But these words may not replace each other in a sentence. The word big means colossal, hefty, enormous, huge, immense, giant, tremendous, extensive, prodigious, etc. Now for example, a colossal amount of mail is the correct usage, but big amount of mail will not be appropriate. Now although colossal and big mean the same, yet they cannot be replaced by each other. So when you study words in group, you get to increase your vocabulary. Next is the root technique. Most English root words come from Greek and Latin languages. One useful method for building vocabulary through root words is to first look at the base word. Once you know the meaning of the root word, you will be able to identify the meanings of the words more than usual. Let's take the example of the root word auto, which means self. Now let's take a word for autobiography. Auto means self, bio means life, and graph means to write. Autobiography means a book or account of your own life. Autograph means a person's own signature. Autocracy, where auto means self, graph means rule, so autocracy is a theory favoring unlimited authority by an individual, self. This is how you practice the root technique. The next technique is prefix or suffix technique. Prefix is a letter or group of letters that you put at the beginning of a word to change its meaning. Suffix is a letter or group of letters that you add at the end of the word or the way it is used. Let's take an example of a prefix M-A-L which means ill or bad. So we know that any word associated with the prefix M-A-L will have a negative meaning or will denote to something ill or bad. The word like malicious which means characterized by malice or intended or intending to do harm. The word like malevolent which means having or showing a wish to do something evil to others. In the same way, let's take an example of the suffix IST. It is often corresponding to verbs ending in IZE or nouns ending in ISM that denote a person who practices or is concerned with something. The words associated with IST may be egoist, egotist, altruist, and many others. Let's break the words. The root word like ego, which means self, and the suffix like IST denotes a person. So egoist is a person who is selfish or self-centered, the opposite of which is altruist. This is how you practice the prefix and suffix technique. Next technique is denotation and connotation. Denotation is the primary meaning of a word or you can say a dictionary meaning, whereas connotation is an idea expressed by a word in addition to its main meaning. In simple words, denotation is the literal meaning of the word, whereas connotation is a feeling or indirect meaning. For example, the word like blue, B-L-U-E. When I talk about denotation, Blue is the name of the color, whereas when I talk about connotation, blue is sad. So when you say feel blue, which means feel sad, feeling blue is feeling sad. That is how the denotation and connotation differ with the same word. Let's see some of the words with different denotation and connotation. the nature or tone of the word. Now we know that words have different tones, positive, negative and neutral. So even if you do not know the meaning of the word, but if you are aware of tone of the word, you will be able to identify the meaning of the word contextually. Let's take an example of the word called brave, 
which also means audacious or confident. The word brave means ready to do things that are dangerous or difficult without showing fear. For example, soldier fighting in a war. Whereas audacious is willing to take risk or to do something shocking, something like an audacious decision. Now both of these words mean the same with different tones. Brave is a positive toned word and audacious is a negative toned word. Both of these words have the same meaning but different tones. That is how you practice the nature or tone of the word and learn more vocabulary. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.